Hey, what's up, guys? So we got a big update. So it's time to update the all-star tower defense tier list. So uh, let's go bring a bunch of the new units and new buff units. And let's get this party started. All right, here we go. Let's go hop on into infinite mode training and we'll show off all the units and rank them. Let's get it. All right, let's start off with some of the thumbnail units. Let's start off big with Akaza. So first up, how do you get Akaza? You get him from the banner, guys. He'll show up in banner Z. Let's get him placed down. Now this guy has a uh, pretty cool things here. So he has some pretty good damage. And one other cool thing about him is he is hybrid from the start. Really nice. All right, air type as well. Pretty sweet. And he has an ability. This ability is really good. Look at this. Especially if you don't have a lot of money, it jumps him all the way up to 800K damage which is pretty freaking sweet. So that's a really cool ability. And also for raid mode, he's he's putting in work, guys. He got some serious damage. 50 uh 55k. Like, dude, that is uh that's some serious damage right there. I'm not going to lie on that one. And you max him out and he becomes a DPS beast. Like, dude, this guy has some of the best DPS in the game. They made him busted. He also has two abilities, compass needle we already went over and annihilation type. All right, this ability insta-kills any enemies that are 10% um, uh, HP or lower. So it's great if you combo it with Gilgamesh, like the ultimate combo right there. So honestly, all these combined is going to easily put Akaza into the S tier. Um, I'd say technically he's a support unit, but honestly, he's good enough for the S tier in general, even as a damager. So we're easily putting him in the S tier. All right, next up, we have another unit that's technically a support unit, but we have um, Research Captain. What was his name? Mayuri, I want to say. He is one of the best poison units in the game. However, compared to other poison units, he does not hit airs. So uh, that makes Venom slightly better, but he does have a pretty interesting ability called Experimental Chemical. It slows down the enemies as well as applies a debuff on them. So it's only good for raid mode though. It doesn't apply anywhere else. And he has some really good stats. So honestly, he's really good. Plus he's dark, so he's really good for raids. He's basically a raid mode destroyer. So uh, highly recommended you bring him and Asta together. You'll destroy pretty much everything. Now for infinite mode, he doesn't really have any usage. So uh, unfortunately, I can't rank him in S tier, but uh, easily A tier guys, very good unit. All right, next up, guys, we got Gayoko. Now, Gayoko, he's a cool unit, but unfortunately, his needle trap is capped at a 50 million damage and poison. So technically 350 million, but it's just not that great. Now, it's really, really good for raid mode, but for infinite mode, he has no usage whatsoever. So uh, unfortunately, that ranks him pretty low on the list. I'm gonna be honest, I think he, yeah, he deserves like low, a, he deserves A tier. So he's a good unit, but uh, honestly, he's probably one of the better A tier units, but he's kind of like A tier raid mode only. So uh, he's not terrible, but you're gonna really want him. Uh, huh. <laughs> he's not, he's not too cracked. All right, so uh, next up we have another of the units, Shaolin. You can get her by evolving her. She's a five star in the banner and then you can evolve her. She starts off with Gale Slow for 500 bucks, which is her claim to fame. However, her damage is really bad. However, she does hit airs, so that's also kind of nice, but her SBA is also really bad as well. So unfortunately, she goes into technically, I'd probably say she's technically S tier support, but like barely S tier support. So uh, not a bad unit per se, but uh, you, you, you know, she's mainly good for raids because of her Gale Slow off for 500 bucks and a good price. All right, next up we have Meta Knight. If you guys don't know, Meta Knight got a brand new orb, the Knight Orb. So this gives him critical hits, which is crazy, and Yellow Enchant and plus 100% damage. So this is a really nice orb, and it makes him really, really good. So you can kind of look at his damage. His damage basically goes insane. 970 so basically 1 million dps with no um uh no buff plus crit yeah this, this guy's basically doing some crazy dps and the best thing is you can move him around the map so you can take units out pretty like wherever you want also the blessings work on these as well so you can make yourself really cool this actually might be a cool blessing combo you can add in meta knight guys to the blessing combos that's actually pretty sick
So uh, honestly, after the buff, I think he doesn't really have any place in infinite mode. However, he definitely has a good place in raid mode. So I'm going to put him in the A tier list. Definitely check him out for raids. All right, next up, guys, the path also got a nice buff. So you're going to see he's now a slow unit that's full AoE with 9 SPA. And all of his buddies have really cool effects like bleed. I know one of them has crit. I think it's pain human has crit. Like they have a lot of cool abilities. Gale slow. Like Gale slow is sweet. Unfortunately, he's a oh, he's full AoE too and Gale slow. Come on, dude. Let's just say this guy is pretty cracked now. And burn too. It has everything in one. It's pretty sweet. And base healing. Like what more do you want from a unit? So honestly, his damage is a little bit lower now. But I'm going to be real, like, Pain is really good. So I'm putting him up in the S tier now. Um, Yeah, up in the S tier for sure. Really good unit. All right, next up we have some more new units. Let's go check them out. All right, now I don't have these units in my inventory. We have, uh, I'm just going to pretend this is six star scene on. And we have um, uh, Kurapika. So uh, Kurapika is really good. Really good bleed units. Honestly, I'm putting it in the S tier for support. It has a pretty cool ability as well. Oh, sorry. I messed up. I don't know what else. I think Annihilation is just a nuke. So that's my bad. Um, Chain Avenger has the insta kill with 10% HP. I didn't realize that. Um, so he has two other abilities. And then that's the new ability, insta kill. So I messed up. I thought that was Patterning that had it. But apparently he's just a nuke. So, uh, oof. But uh, that means Chain Avenger is easily... Did you not show? Oh, yeah. Chain Avenger is easily S tier for support. All right. Sinon has okay damage. Honestly, Sinon is just an okay unit. I'm just going to put Sinon in B tier. Um, it's not a bad unit, but it's okay. Uh, Worm G is actually kind of cracked. If you're a new player, definitely get Worm G. He has Rupture on the first upgrade, which is actually wild. So definitely, definitely get him. Um, unfortunately, Aaron and Ymir got nerfed. So I'm just going to put them in A tier now. They're not terrible, but dude, the nerf really, really hurt them a lot. All right, next up, we got Mashley. A uh, unit from Mashley. Uh, Mashley. Um, we have Bunny Rain Ames. He's actually a pretty decent unit. Not going to lie. Um, I'd probably say he's like, uh, he's, he's a solid, he's a solid A tier unit. Like nothing too crazy to write home about, but he's pretty good. So uh, let me put him in A tier. All right, here we go. So let's go put our boy Bunny Avenger in the A tier. Now, unfortunately, a lot of units got nerfed. So uh, F in the chat for all of these unique units up here like uh, Sid. Yeah, like these units are no longer as good as they once were. So uh, make sure you guys know that. I don't know exactly where to rank them yet. But Toji, <laughs> Yamamoto, freaking all these guys got massively nerfed. So be very careful um, and tread carefully when testing them out. They're just not that good anymore. So all of these single placement units just not hitting. They all got nerfed pretty badly. So there's the tier list, guys. Let me know what you think about it down below. Let me know if I missed anything, and I'll catch you in the next one.